In this episode, G is back on board and we are going full speed forward to have everything done before the canal crossing. Like a miracle, I managed to get my hands on a used radar identical to the one I had before. Starting our week with a free shuttle bus to Cologne for two reasons. We need to do some shopping and it's G's birthday. In fact, it's not many days between both of our birthdays. After so many times in Shelter Bay Marina, there is some people here I have learned to like more than others. The bus driver Mr. Ranger is definitely one of those. So, three years ago, uh -huh. I said something to you. It was a very good compliment to you. Uh, yeah, this is the only man that I trust with my fucking money. In Panama. <laughs> True. Remember. That's a three-year-old coach. <laughs> I remember like what's yesterday. <laughs> My friend in Panama, short the bed. That's my word. <laughs> It's a bit of a surprise to find this kind of a restaurant in shopping mall in Cologne district. G loves sushi and this place looks pretty okay, so we decided to give it a try. After all, it's her birthday, so she deserves to be spoiled a bit as best we can here in between our tight schedule. She's still not a big fan of being in front of the camera, <laughs> even though she's much prettier to look at than an old salty sailor like myself. Hopefully, she will overcome her shyness in the future. Now, living on a sailboat with a YouTube channel. Having G back on board again means more healthy food and, of course, more exercise. So, out bicycling is basically not that hard because it's uh, e bikes. So, I think it's uh, cheating a little bit. But it's also nice. Can you can get a little bit more distance with not too much effort? Actually bicycling in the jungle. <laughs> jungle safari. Not far from Shelter Bay Marina there is some nice beaches and also a fort and even possible to see the Chagres River, made famous by the famous pirate Captain Morgan. And as always, the weather changes faster, so we made a quick stop on our way home to have a look at the beach outside of Shelter Bay. This is now open to the public, but if you're not staying in the marina, you have to go online and get your permission to visit. It's still for free, but being on a military property, they like to know who's visiting. Even though it's G's birthday, she's still pushing not only me, but also herself to have some smaller things done as the canal transit is getting closer. But we got interrupted by our sweet neighbors from Sweden. And then it went how it normally goes with Scandinavians together. <laughs> That was Swedish, by And unfortunately, my homemade signature dessert failed this time. It's supposed to look like this, but I guess it's the thought that counts. Some of the harbor life is sometimes you're invited to dinner. And that's great, because it's not so far away. Permission to enter, or are you are busy with the yoga? Hello! Hello there! Yes. <laughs> cool, <for fun. laughs> Danny and Nikki from Sweden invited us on board for dinner on their the amazing custom built Katana 65. Yeah. Yeah. Här kan du faktiskt gå ut och du står här så kan du se att kom ut, kom ut och stå. Du står inte uppe på någon jävla flybridge 1000 meter, eller 100 meter upp utan nu är det. Du har... There is a Scandinavian word that is only mm. Scandinavian and that is lagom. Lagom. So you have to drink lagom. Not too much, not too little. Not too much, not too little. Lagom. Lag means the group. Om means around. So you should drink so that group can have it. 
And now we are formally joined together. And so yeah. what the uh, host and is it's doing this, here is this explaining for our Dutch uh, <laughs> friend here. <laughs> Swedish traditions. <laughs> Scandinavian traditions. Actually Scandinavian, Scandinavian tradition. but it's a uh, little Lago. bit Swedish. Yeah, yeah. Lago. And it's, yeah. Don't you Thank have you. Lago in Norway? Uh, we say we are not saying Lago. Okay. So what do you say? Should we talk it in Swedish or should we talk it in English? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ja, vi har inte lagom i Norge. <laughs> I Norge säger det allt eller inget. <laughs> Explaining the Norwegian version, all or nothing. <laughs> what a beautiful world. I mean, and we have the chef here. Welcome to my <laughs> galley. kitchen. <the> galley. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. So here we are making, um, actually it's going to be dorado. Oh. So uh, this is uh, what it goes with the dorado and some rice that is finalizing and over there the dorado itself is getting just the right temperature cabin. Uh -huh. so this is the owner's cabin. Yeah, no skipper's cabin. Skipper's cabin. Yes. He only sailed with skipper. Oh. So we said no. We fuck it. We don't need a skipper's cabin. <laughs> so here was a bathroom and a, a terrible, ugly skipper's uh, cabin. So we made a, a workshop of the old bathroom. Wow. With the washing machine and, and storage and, and working area. And inside here is a beautiful storage area. If you just go in and look. This, this is what wow. everyone. So here you have the tool areas down there at the side, and this is partly what we need for the Except Pacific. Like, yeah, look at this. Nice. And master bedroom. Wow. Ah, ah, ni har en jäkla bra it's always nice to see other boats, not to forget being invited for a nice dinner together with happy people. Sailors that become friends and that we know we're gonna see again in the Pacific as well. A new radar dome does not cost that much. I mean, it's uh, depending on what kind of radar you want. Uh, it starts uh, around $1,500 and up. Uh, so the challenge is not to find a radar. Uh, the, the real challenge is on a sailboat and on B3 and it's so many other systems. And of course, the new radars they sell now are not compatible with the system I have. I decided that the best solution for me would be to find a similar second-hand radar that could just be mounted and plugged into the existing network. And almost as a miracle, another sailor here had a Garmin antenna that's compatible with my existing network for sale. So I'm preparing for uh, going up uh, in the mast um, to uh, fit the old but new antenna <laughs> or the new old antenna. So it's gonna be interesting to see if it works. And if it works, I'm really happy and then I have a deal with the neighbor here in the marina. So sometimes uh, luck is just what you need <laughs> and uh, let's see how lucky we are. But first let's see how lucky we are this time. It has been quite a circus here last few days with above medium stressed world arc sailors. I'm no stranger to using lines in docking situations, but this solution I have never seen before. The last days there have been lots of crashes in this marina and a few close calls even for B3. So I was kind of a bit annoyed about all the crazy docking episodes and this was not even close to the worst but gives you an idea. Being so close to having my dream of the Pacific to come through, the last thing I need now is another sailboat crashing into B3. Insurance does not help much if your entire season and dreams is destroyed by others. So I guess I'm a bit alert now, the last week here.
a new circus in town and it's not me climbing the mast but it's the world arc <laughs> it's a lot of interesting docking <laughs> okay yes With the exact same antenna, this was a pretty fast and easy task. It's basically plug and play. I'm almost speechless in terms of how lucky I've been here. And Houston, we have contact. <laughs> Radar is spinning. <laughs> Oh, this is great news. So, yeah, an old antenna from another sailor, smack, boom, right into the system. Um, we're good to go. Two days before the canal transit. Perfect. It's almost uh, difficult for me to explain how much I appreciate to finally have a functional radar again. For those of you that have been following this channel for a while, know how I use my radar and how much I appreciate and value to have it on board. So the fact that this was one of the last tasks to fix on my navigation, uh, this is a huge step for B3 in the preparing for the Pacific. Now we have a new radar. So then it's not much more to say than uh, thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already I would be very happy to see you subscribe to this channel and yeah take the normal old school cheers i try again because i could not open it <laughs> so sometimes with one hand it's not so easy but we try again and here we go cheers.